All businesses want to remain profitable and grow exponentially. Social media platforms are no different. Every platform seeks for ways to improve their services to attract more businesses to pay for adverts on their platforms. If you haven't noticed, it's not easy to grow your organic traffic, especially for business pages, as it was a few years ago. Businesses now need to invest heavily on the platforms in order to grow in the engagement or make sales. So in this video, we look at one of the new apps introduced by Facebook to improve their customer experience. This is none other than Facebook Business Suit. Hi, this is Victoria from Asha Group. Please remember to like or subscribe to ensure you don't miss out on any of our future upcoming videos. So let's dive in. So we'll cover three topics. What is Facebook Business Suit? how to access it, and understanding the tools in Facebook Business Suit. If you have a Facebook business page, you have probably seen a notification on Facebook asking you to post using Facebook Business Suit. Well, let's look at this app to see if it's something you might need to consider. So what is Facebook Business Suit? This is an application that allows you to access different tools that work across Facebook and Instagram. I know Facebook says it is meant for small businesses, though eventually if they improve on most of the functionalities, it will uh, in the long term suit all businesses. It was introduced in uh, September 2020, actually launched in September 2020, and uh, it's majorly used to post, advertise, check on performance on your ads and how your page is doing, messaging and so forth. Facebook Business Suite is meant to replace the Facebook Business Manager later on. That's why if you have been using Facebook Business Manager, you have also seen that notification asking you to change to uh, Business Suite. Having used it, I would say it's efficient, though some few limitations which I'm sure Facebook will make it better soon. You never know, maybe WhatsApp will be also part of this in the near future. So how do you access it? On your phone, if you have been using uh, Pages Manager app, then it has been converted to Facebook Business Suite. If you haven't used one before, then you can go to Google App Store and download Facebook Business Suite. On the desktop, you can access it uh, on a personal account linked to your business page. It's uh, at the left side where you have the pages and uh, all other information, notification uh, from Facebook. If you can't be able to see it, just click on the see more and uh, you'll be able to see the business suit. So when you click on it, it will take you to that page. So when you go to the business suit, uh, on your left, you'll be able to see the different uh, tools. I'll just go straight to the point. The first one is the home, which is by default. It shows you uh, everything about your page. It will show you the updates, the any post you've made, the audience, the trends, and all that. The second one is the activity. Activity is more of notification. It shows you uh, the not notification uh, of your page. If you had anyone liking your page, if you had anyone following your page, it will be able to show you on that uh, activity uh, button. When you click the inbox, the inbox shows you any conversation you've had uh, using the messenger. The inbox shows you any conversation you've had using the messenger. Um, and even you can still also respond uh, directly from uh, the inbox uh, using the Facebook business suite. Then we have the posts. On the posts, it shows you all the different um, posts you have created so far. And uh, it has you have two options. You have the published and the scheduled ones. So, for example, if you go to create post, you have the options of either creating on both or creating in one. One of the advantages of this business suit is that it allows you to create one post and it goes across the two platforms. So that is something that uh, will save you a lot of time. So, for example, if you are to say type a text uh, for the post, it will allow you to if you have clicked the buttons, if you are to type on this text, it allows you to, to save on both. Then, of course, um, you will need to add a photo because now with Instagram, you will not be able to post without uh, an image. 
So let's put an example photo. Then now that will allow you to to publish. If you didn't put a photo, then you'll have to maybe unselect the the Instagram. So you also have an option to schedule the posts. Uh, again, across all platforms, this is also an advantage that we, that comes with the Facebook suit. So you can select when you would want to post and also um, select the time that you would want it to to be seen. So that is scheduling the post for future. Yeah, so for now we don't want to do that. Um, then we have also the free feed and grid. Feed and grid shows you uh, the post you've made uh, published so far. So we have the for the Facebook page and then we have for the Instagram uh, on your right. Um, then we have the calendar. The calendar shows you uh, everything you have posted so far, uh, the date, the time, and which platform. It's more of a summary of what you have posted so far. It could be weekly, monthly, uh, or even just today, you know. Yeah, so then we go to the ads. This is uh, where you have an option to... Then we go to the ads. This is where you have an option to create an ad or to view the ads you've created so far. So, for example, if you are to create an ad, you will see the different options... The the boost post allows you to boost a post that you created earlier. You can boost an Instagram post. This is specific to Instagram. You can get more messages. People talk to you on Messenger. You can promote your page. This will mostly work on uh, Facebook. You can promote your business locally uh, within the region you're in. You can get more people to contact you. That could be... Uh, through phone and uh, or email and all that. You can get people to visit your website, that is to generate traffic to your site. Okay. Then we have the insights. The insights gives you a summary of uh, how your posts have, how your page is doing, how your posts are doing and all that. So you can uh, select uh, the duration in which you want to track uh, your, your page and then uh, it will show you uh, how 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 far uh, your page is at uh, within a week or a month? Uh, how many people have reached your page and all that? Then uh, the trends now gives you uh, how your page has been doing within that period that you selected, and then the content shows you what you posted and uh, what you used to 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 grow your page or to market your products. Then the audience. The audience shows you how many people you have so far, uh, which uh, demographics, which cities. Uh, more like uh, to understand, uh, to help you even in your future adverts. So it gives you a summary of how your your who are uh, who are accessing your 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 page. Then we have these more tools. The the more tools uh, are tools that are if you have used Facebook. Business manager, then you'll find this familiar. Where the creating of your accounts uh, manager, uh, the audiences, the billing, the business settings, uh, the media library, these have all been in the Facebook business manager. But you can still click on them if you want to edit uh, a few of uh, these items, like the ads account manager. You might need to edit it to, to suit the business and not your individual uh, name. We have the um, other settings. You can assign roles. You can uh, uh, connect with Instagram if you hadn't connected before. You can uh, uh, s do the page settings. That is, if you want to change the the about us and all that, the the different page settings, uh, which is what you have just been doing before. Like if you want to change the page info. Uh, published, who to publish and all that. Yeah, so this again is familiar. It's just to show you that it's here. So you can uh, do what you've been doing, but on this um, section. 
lastly we have the give feedback sometimes when you feel uh, you there are some things that you still need clarity and then you can click the feedback and then um, switch to business man- manager so yeah, of course it will ask you to give reasons why you would want to do that maybe to help them in the improvement of uh, the suit yeah so that's it for today uh, see you next time